morning uh, you join me at the top of a very steep hill I haven't subjected you to my enormous heavy breathing uh, but join me today on a journey of exploration around here I've got a vague idea where I'm going but let's see what happens going well so far Today's first log pile and rear gear adjustment uh, holder. Mold. Well, this is what it's all about. sounds of the forest. And some bearded loon ruin it for everyone. So I just wanted to give you a little tip. Um, because this is a forest and although it's not exactly in the wilderness, it is quite far away and I've come on a bit that's probably not used that often. So if you are going somewhere, always tell someone where you're going. Tell them your route if you can. Um, because even though this isn't far from civilization, because I'm filming this on a weekday, it's going to be the best people here. And if I have an accident where I either can't walk out or there's no phone signal, then I could be here for a couple of hours, maybe more, before someone finds me. Uh, and then you can suffer all sorts of exposure and stuff if you're injured. So always tell someone where you're going. Um, and the What Three Words app is really good on your phone, again, if you've got a signal. So there you go. Look after yourselves. So I'd just like to point out that I haven't followed my own advice. All I've said to someone is, I'm going to the wild forest, so no one knows where I actually am. So I'm going to take it steady and watch what I'm doing. So follow our advice, but don't do what I do. Oh, civilization, sort of. Oh, and people. Oh, that's ruined it. I think could do Chester. I only 97 miles and it's 12 o'clock. Yeah, easy before dark, got no lights. So I've come out of the trees and of course now it's raining. Typical, but then if it gets really bad I can always get the train home, but I think I'm about a hundred years too late.
Now you all know I'm an advocate of uh, no rules, just ride. But these are one. This is the one rule that I do obey. Looks grim that way. Better that way. Oh well. <clears throat> well, we all know how boring the road bits are. That's why we rode off road, isn't it, on gravel bikes? But just for some continuity. I'm in the transitional stage between uh, transport genres. You'll see. I'll stop for some sustenance in the bakery in Kimber. Port Power Bar from a very nice bakery where the uh, lady was wearing a muck off mask, so highly recommended. Oh, and that's an Eccles cake. You know me in Eccles cakes. So, this seems to have become the history of transport ride, going back a bit further than the trains, narrowboats and canals. Thank you. Thank you. Is it now time to talk about people wearing headphones on towpaths? Without any idea what's going on around them. Mm. Probably, uh, probably a subject for another in-depth video with some examples, maybe. <laughs> Not a patch on uh, the Netherton tunnel, but right in the middle, you get to a point where you can't actually see anything. And I always have a wobble, but I'm not gonna film it because I can't do it one-handed unless you want me to fall off, which you probably do, but I'm not going to. No dabs. This is a very nice uh, tea room, the old forge. It's raining, so I'm not stopping. made it to Burlish Top and somewhere in Burlish Top there's a, I think there's a poor cross course and some jumps and um, got someone started an organised thing but every time I've been up here I've wandered around these woods and I can't find it whether it's on the estate rather than the woods I've no idea so if anyone does know where it is if you could uh, put something in the comments a link or something because um, I'd love to go and see it. So here we are, back at the van. Um, predictably, it's raining again. Or well, a forecast that said dry all day. Maybe about 50% of it has been rain. Uh, only 30 miles done, um, it was a bit of an explore, I think most of the time when I was in the woods I'd only got a vague sense of where, we, where I was, um, but it all worked out in the end and uh, it's quite a nice route, quite a lot of climbing at the start and then a lot of flat, so there's a lot of pedalling, not much downhill somehow, even though it's dark and it's the same path. But, if you want to see more of this type of video, uh, please like and subscribe, uh, subscribe and all that usual shenanigans. Uh, and come look in the UK Grand Clothes shop to buy a t-shirt or one of the patches that have just been restocked. Uh, all goes to help me fund the channel, uh, pay for the website 
uh, and buy stuff in to review so you don't have to buy it. Thanks for watching, see you at the next one.